Oh, snap. Oh, I got the headphones on. Hold on. Yee. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Terrell. Right now, we about to hop into that Caesar and not Saza. It's Caesar. Okay. Yeah, I said I was pronouncing it wrong, so it's Caesar. All right. So, without further ado, we got shirt. Let's see what she's talking about. Bro, this bro in every movie. Dude is in every movie. I know exactly who this is. Color is light. Light is energy. Energy is everything. Okay. What about these soft shades? Energy. This table. Energy. You and me. Oh, come on. Shut up, nigga. Damn. You see what we talk? You were saying? Energy. Now, if he would have had some hair, that wouldn't have... I mean, he got hair, but if he would have had, like, some braids or something, it wouldn't have hurt as much as it sound. Because that shit sounded like it fucking hurt it. A lot. A lot. <laughs> oh! Wait, she just got shot? Wait, no control. Who shot her? Wait, she shot someone else and then she got shot by who? Was that the dude that was with her? That likes her at the beginning? The actor? The dude? The one that slapped the dude in the back of the head? It probably was. I get comfort in my sins, not about me. All right, all right. So it kind of sounds like I guess she's trying to navigate through the the power dynamics in a in a in a relationship. I get, and I guess she comes to realization that she need more in order to like stay in it. But the uh, the song is called Shirt. She says blood stains on my shirt, and we see she just got shot. So I guess maybe the blood stains could kind of symbolize you know the hurt and pain from the relationship. Then she says the new B I T C H. You know, I don't, I don't like saying the word, so I spell it out. She said the new B-I-T-C-H is on her nerves. And I guess that's, like, maybe her inner, uh, I don't know. I guess that's basically her dissatisfaction or that's probably her, you know, getting an idea to look somewhere else. I mean, if it's a new girl involved, like, yeah, you should look somewhere else, basically. You know what I'm saying? And then she said the old, old nigga got curved. Old nigga got curved. Old nigga got curved. Oh, old nigga got curved. So, if that is the dude that shot her, right? If that's the dude that shot her, that sh that was with her at the beginning, she says old nigga got curved. So I'm guessing that's like the difficulties of trusting someone and like you know kind of rebuilding like a newfound connection from her, from her past hurt. <laughs> I don't know. Am I, I think I'm on. I don't know. Am I on to something here? Maybe. Hold on. Shirt, new bitch on my shirt, 
That was him. That was him. That was him. But I kind of like how she did it with the blood stains on his shirt. Because when you get like, if you really get shot, that that shit hurts. And it's like when you're in a relationship and some shit goes down, that shit hurts. That shit hurts. I like how she did this. And I, I think I think for her, like the idea of, you know, being thirsty can refer to like, you know, the need for like some type of attachment or some type of validation, you know, of her worth, you know. So what you say and how you know me. See, motherfuckers like that, when they know they hurt someone, but they smile right in your face and they laughing, bro, they got no hearts. They have no hearts. Those are people that don't even need to be in a relationship at all, to be honest. Does anybody agree with me? Or am I the only one? I can't be. So I guess she kind of stresses over perfection and I kind of feel like she struggles with it, you know, not being seen as, I guess, worthy enough. And like she she like she's she needs like she wants to I don't know. I guess she wants to perfect it so bad that, you know, she's I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I just feel like she kind of wants to, you know, fit in, not fit in, but, you know, fit the perfect category within a relationship. Like she just wants to be perfect, but she's struggling with it. You know, it's like she she needs to be seen as perfect by the significant other. All right, that's it. Niggas want me to get ratchet, niggas want me to attack it Put the hood on, all they calling me Cassius Mind you like Bob Saget, greedy I can't pass it Eating Oh, whoa, 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 whoa Is this part of the song or this, like this song right here is from a different music video Because I know motherfuckers be doing that They'll add like a snippet of a song at the end of a song So is this part of the song itself right here or this is like a separate song And if it is, what's the name of it? No fasting, I don't care much you knew me in the past tense I ain't no Julia Stiles, this ain't no last dance Way past it, way Fucking on my ex cause he validate me Fucking up a check, I don't want no receipt uh. Mine get possessed, let my space speak free me uh. Hey, my past can't escape me My uh. pussy precedes me Ooh. Why my how the time change? I'm still playing the victim and you still playing the pick me It's so embarrassing hey. What's the name of that song? Somebody comment down below. What's the name of that song? Matter of fact, I'm about to shazam it right after this. All of the things I need living inside of me, I can't see it. It's so embarrassing. All of the love I see living inside of me, I can't see. I'm blind. All right, so we're going to end it out. But uh, in the last line where she's like, uh, I guess in the last line, before the second song started, you know, going back to the first song, I guess you kind of realize she comes to like a realization that she's looking entirely too desperate. And, you know, I guess she may not be, you know, getting her worth in the relationship. So I'm going to go with that. So. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I'm about to shazam that second song that just started playing because she was flowing on that motherfucker. So until then, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We out. We go.